Joel, I'll kick off with you. Yep. Um, it's been a pretty good performance from the girls so far with their bowling. Uh, are you happy with where it's at and where it could go? Yeah, I guess we always push them to be better. But, yeah, at the end of the day, we've won our three warm-up games, won our first four games. Um, the bowlers know the areas we're working on, but at the end of the day, we've got the job done and we're pretty happy with the business end to come just peaking nicely. What about the game against Pakistan where it, it took the full 50 to get them out? Yeah, we got them out at the end of the day. Over... Uh, it was good because everyone got a bowl. That was what we were chasing. You know, Serie Ali got to play the first game and get a good bowl in at this level, which is nice. Um, you know, Beamsy got to come back in the side and have a good bowl. So, yeah, I mean, it'd be nice to roll them early, but at the end of the day, we bowled them out for 130 on a pretty good wicket. And if you saw the cricket they played at the end there, it was pretty hard to get anyone out when they're not playing any shots. And what's the thinking going into tomorrow's game? What, uh, what are you going to take in? Win. After that, um, we keep we don't worry too much about the opposition. To be honest, where we play England, Pakistan, West Indies, whatever it is, we we've got some core values or, or, or core sort of things that we try and stick to as a bowling unit, and we'll talk about them this afternoon in our meeting and go out and try and execute them tomorrow. Megan, what have the conditions been like to bowl in over here so far? Pretty good. Um, I've been happy since I've been here that you know there's obviously a bit more cloud around than there is in Australia a lot, at a lot of times. But yeah, the ball seems to be moving a little bit since I've been over here. And um, once I come on to bowl at the death, it tends to be a bit more grippy, so I can do my slow balls and my fancy things. So it's been it's been pretty good. Talk us through the dynamic of the group. Uh, you know, Pez can come in and bowl quick as well, but but a lot of slow bowlers there too. What's what's that been like? Um, it's been a good challenge, I guess. You know, you got to really fight hard for your spot in the team, and we have 15 people that could go in and bowl a few overs. It's a, maybe a couple in there that probably shouldn't, but um, no, it's been it's been a good challenge. Like as as Joe said, you know, pace has been going the way in women's cricket at the moment, and um, I think that just means you've got to add more strings to your bow. For me, it's I'm not express pace. Um, I have a bit of a joke about it, but I know I'm about 10k off pairs, and and I think that suits me a bit better as well. You know, I think. For me, it's about the change-ups and bringing the pace off the ball. So I think it kind of says everything about it at the moment. Joe, where's Meg at with her shoulder? It's still attached last time I looked. Um, you know, that's for the medical people to work out. I'm not sure. We're preparing for her to play tomorrow, as far as I know, and uh, see how she wakes up in the morning, I guess. Just looking at the last game here, the, you know, 300 runs plus for both teams, does that... Is that, do you see that's where the women's game's going at the moment, that just bigger and bigger totals and therefore sort of, as a bowling coach, you know, changing and defending sort of larger scores? And do you think 300 could be chased down here this weekend? Is it sort of a possibility? Oh, it's going to be a good game, isn't it? I think, yeah, the women's game is going through the roof. It's progression, you know, it's the... Probably the, the big sides have become more and more professional and, you know, with that becomes the, the strength and the power that comes with that um, and, and the time actually put, getting to put into their skills. So you, and you can see the, the benefits of that in this tournament. I, I don't know the numbers, but I'm assuming there probably wasn't 300 scored on a regular basis in the last game where, you know, the high 200s, 300 is, is a fairly regular occurrence. Smaller grounds, our outfields are rock harder as well, which helps. But, um, you know, I, I think we, you know, we're a good chasing side and we back ourselves to chase chase anything, whether that be 130 or, or 330. And just how special is an England-Australia game for, for an Australian cricketer? I think it's, it's the biggest rivalry there is uh, in Australian cricket, so I think it's always a cracking game and that makes the rivalry that much better. I don't think anyone ever really smashes the other team, so I think you're always in with the contest and you're never really out of the game. Hi, Megan. Can I ask, um, how do you see England have improved, or do you see the improvement that England have made since, I suppose, that World T20 defeat last year? Yeah, well, they're, they're hitting a few more runs. So, um, yeah, obviously for me as a bowler, that's something I've got to look at and, you know, go through their vision and really work out um, the areas that I want to be hitting. But, you know, they look like their team dynamic is really good. They seem to have a good balance at the moment. So, yeah, I think it should be a great contest. In this World Cup, do we? is your best game still ahead of you, do you think? I think so. Um, for me, you know, it's been a, been a bit of a tough last um, 12 months or so with trying to fix some little niggles that I've had, but I think coming back with a shorter run and having a bit more energy that, you know, I'm putting a bit more out on the park, which is nice. So um, I think for me, still waiting for that perfect game, you know, I guess when you come to this level, you're kind of hard on yourself no matter how you go. So I'm just happy if I can contribute in some way.